Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, back with a brand new money video in GTA 5 Online and today I'm going to show you how to make tons of money for right now I currently made 500k by using this easy money method and it's a very easy useful one and there's two parts to this which will get to 250k each and it's a pretty easy way to make money in GTA 5 right now if you're a beginner and I'm going to show you how to do it and help you out through the steps and it's not going to take too long plus you'll get 500k out of the end of this so before we do get started as well make sure to go and subscribe to my channel if you haven't really want to hit 6k subscribers as my next goal but anyways smack the like button if you haven't and let's get straight into today's video okay guys now what you need to do to get half a million easy in GTA right now is simple you'll get the 500k with no problem at all and all you gotta do is to simply go to a, a lobby in GTA 5 can be public invite only private friends only it doesn't matter all you're gonna need is to wait until you get text from this girl M A U D E and this random female text you about bounty hunt just accept the message and then she'll randomly uh, in a couple of minutes give you an email about the about to start the bounty hunt so there's two things about this there's, there's a bounty hunt and there's a treasure hunt so there's two you can do and both will give you 250k so if you add both of them they'll give you 500k and basically once she gives you an email you'll see that at the bottom of the email there'll be the man that you need to go and kill basically just go on your map and then you'll see a red uh, random yellow circle go to the yellow circle and then basically once you have the yellow circle you just have to um, hear out the the ringing noise which you clo the closer you get to the ring noise the closer you get to your target now once you knock out your target or kill the target you can either bring the target to the person which takes longer you don't want to waste your time or you can kill it to get 5k so you get a bonus amount of money for doing this easy bounty hunt but at the end will be worth it because you get 250k and, and a free item it can be the revolver and the stone axe which is pretty cool you get two free items and half a million in your bank basically now mood after you kill your first target there'll be at least five or six I forgot but there'll be uh, quite a lot of targets to hit until you get to the end and it's pretty cool there's awesome red redemption uh, challenges basically all you're gonna do is wait until she emails you with the next bounty once you wait it just open up and see the target you don't need to see the target just, you need to just close your phone and then look at your map for the next location and it'll be circled with a yellow circle basically all you're gonna do is go to that location I recommend to have a helicopter this is gonna be easier and it's gonna help you a lot save time I'm doing this with my oppressor because I just bought it recently and uh, it's gonna make it easy for me to go around kill the targets and everything so basically that target is at the beach which uh, it was difficult to find but just have to pay attention with that ringing noise once you find him you just have to kill him or bring him back depending on which uh, circumstance you wanna go with but anyways you'll get 5k for killing that man and once you do it then you'll get another message from mood don't know why i'm calling her if i'm saying her name right but i don't care basically you'll get that 5k and then you'll get another message of her saying that she got another bounty for you guys and all you're gonna do is to wait until you receive that message read her message basically gonna tell you that she's gonna give you an email about another bounty but just open up that email then you'll see your target again it's your third target it's a female but basically just go to that location on the map so it'll be in the city another yellow circle and these are very easy to do so basically take your time it doesn't matter but make sure you don't leave the game because it'll reset the the bounty hunt and you don't want that so keep doing these until you get bored but you'll need to complete it so this it doesn't reset so at least you can get a 250k but there's a challenge for that as well so once you complete that one your bounty is completed you'll get another message saying yeah thank you for killing that person basically then you get another email from her for the next target which 
this is very very easy to do guys as you can see it doesn't take too long and now basically this is the moment where I get a email from a treasure hunt and basically all you're gonna do for that one is to wait and it'll take a couple of times you just have to play the game to get a treasure hunt email and in that email basically it tells you to go to a certain location and basically I just show you on the map right now so there's two locations I have to go basically for the bounty hunt and also for the treasure hunt but right now I just show you the treasure hunt location and it's right at the top of the map so I recommend to get a helicopter if you haven't or a plane either uh, air unit will do basically it will just save you a lot of time and that's my next target and I'm going to show you on the map so as you can see it's clearly far away but using a helicopter or something like that or oppressor will save you a ton of time and this one will be right next to the bank at the back so once you go to him he'll try and run away but all you're gonna do is actually chase this man and then once you do chase him you can use any gun and just kill him quickly or you can be a simple man and just bring him back if you wanna waste your time but no one wants to waste his time so once you've done that you got your 5k there's another bounty hunt but, after, but I just want to do the treasure hunt to show you guys right now so what you, what you have to do is come to this location which is near the beach and there will be a paper that you need to go and read you don't need to read it, you just have to look at it to start the obviously the what's it called again, the treasure hunt obviously as you can see it's, there's a random words and it tells you to follow the steps which they will be shown on the map as well So. All you have to do is to go to the locations. There's three locations you have to do, and they're pretty fast, they're pretty easy. And just go in your helicopter and do them all. So some are pretty difficult to find, but anyways, this one will be right next to the tree of the bomb. It's a random gun case, and it's empty, which that means you'll get a random revolver at the end. Spoiler alert. But anyways, once you made it to the first location, go to the second location. That one will be in a wrecked place near the beach near the water and the clue will be next to the green chair once you're done that get back on your on your vehicle and then the next clue will be uh, the next one on the map and it's easy as that guys just keep doing these until you get your money but you'll get your money wait until I'm going to show you how, what you need to do after that it's not hard so basically I've done them three clues, I found everything and at the end you'll get an item before you get your money and you have to use this item which you'll get inside this box and uh, it'll be the revolver so as you can see it's a pretty cool thing about this awesome uh, little thing about Redem Red, Red Redemption that I did in GTA you get a free gun, uh, this revolver which is pretty cool and treasure file, as you can see we completed the treasure and to get a bonus 150k which is the aim of today's video to get 500k all you're gonna do is follow the challenge at the top left which is to get 50 kills headshots to anybody uh, in the map so it can be any players NPCs just get a 50, 50 headshot to uh, as many as you can until then then you'll get the money but let's just complete the last few bounties before we do start this mayhem basically this is I think the last one I don't know but this is another bounty hunt you have to do for mood and once you get to the location which is not it's pretty far these and it's gonna take a lot of time to complete them all but at the end will be worth it it'll be better than trying to complete a heist which may fail like 50% of the time if you don't do it right but this is actually easy if you haven't done this yet and I actually get him in the end so I guess I can complete one of my challenges uh, for 49 out of 50 and I just shoot me in the end with the revolver so this it can help me out for my challenge basically you just got another 5k yeah bonus 5k which is pretty good and then once you're done that after that you just have to, you complete all the bounties and then you have to go to the last location which that last location will reveal the stone axe 
and this is an awesome thorn axe because it's a one hit kill which that's the best like melee right now in GTA so if you want that melee the stone axe just get it for fun because that's gonna help you out too for melee fights and that but once you've got that you'll get a challenge for this melee is to get 25 kills with it and basically it's very easy because it's a one hit kill this axe and just get 25 kills with this axe which it's 100% easy because it didn't take too me it didn't take me long I went basically to the casino place and got my kills and then at the end I just got killed from a running guy on the street. Basically all you have to do is to axe, axe them and once you axe them then you'll get a 250k that easy. As you can see only 25 people and you get 250k for this challenge and the next challenge which is the treasure hunt you'll get the another 250k as you can see. I'm just going to my next target, which you have to get 50 headshots, which will, will take you some time because there's cops, and I recommend to turn off a blind eye on cops. So there we go, I just shoot him in the head, and I get my 250k. Pretty much made half a million just like that, guys. This is as easy as that, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video how to make half a million dollars in GTA 5. So basically if you have enjoyed today's video I recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel for more GTA 5 money glitches or GTA 5 money methods. So doesn't matter guys, drop a like if you have enjoyed today's video as well as sharing with all your friends if they don't know about this awesome money method. But anyways, make sure to turn on your notification bells and I'll see you guys all later with a brand new video. Adios, todos.